This conference will now be recorded. Okay. The people who are joined today, listen carefully. Day before yesterday, only I started the session. You missed only two sessions, guys. Please take the recordings. Please take the recordings from. Please take the recordings from. Uh, on online IT Vijaya management. Okay, they will provide the recordings. Understand all of you? Okay. Okay, sir. So, Abhigya, good morning. So, let us start the class. Okay. If you want to talk with me, please type a question in the chat box. Okay, don't directly talk with me, guys, because we are getting some noise. Okay, fine. I'm requesting all of you. Okay, so let us start the class. One minute. Srikant, please ask to management, okay, regarding the first video, first recording. Srikant Boga, please ask to the management. Fine. So let us uh, start the class. Yesterday class, we discussed about uh, two important topics. What is the first topic? What is cloud computing? And what kind of services provided by vendor company? So these are the two important topics in the last class we discussed. What is cloud computing? Cloud computing is a concept or a technology. In this technology, In this technology, in this technology, whatever IT services we require, whatever IT services we require, everything will be provided by vendor company. As a user, as a user, we just need only internet connection and access those services. And how much services we are using, for that service only, we need to pay. This concept name is called pay per use model or plug and play model, or IT services on demand. So how much services we are using, for that service only we need to pay. So this is the concept of cloud computing. Later on we discussed about, I given a very elaborate example also regarding cloud computing. I hope all of you remember that. Later on we discussed about uh, Later on, we discussed about what kind of services cloud computing provides. Cloud computing provides, okay, good morning, Nikhil. Good morning, Sarshafi. Three types of services, yes or no? What is the first one here? Infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. Infrastructure as a service means here vendor company provides hardware as a service to vendor companies, sorry, clients and development companies, then that kind of service we can call it as infrastructure as service. In this, Amazon company is the top number one company in the world which gives infrastructure as service. Second one, platform as service. Here vendor company provides operating system, programming language, databases service. to The clients and development companies. Then that is called what? PaaS. PaaS means platform as service. Salesforce given very beautiful platform for the developers. Salesforce given. Nikhil, please ask the management. See guys, you no need to ask me regarding the recordings. I will not provide the recordings from my side. Understand, I can't. If anybody missed the classes, please ask the management of uh, that guys. What is that? Onlineitvj.com, something is there, okay? Please ask the management. They will provide the recordings. Don't ask me. Okay. Regarding material, regarding running notes, regarding recordings, whatever you want, regarding fee structure, whatever you want, please talk to the management. You only subject matter, please talk with me. Understand? Good. Thank you. 
So Salesforce given one of the beautiful platform for the developers. So I will provide the management co contact number, no problem. Okay, thank you. So Salesforce provided one of the beautiful platform for the developers. The platform name is called force.com. On this platform, developers can develop the application as per the client requirement. Force.com is the old name. The new name is called what? Lightning platform. Salesforce company is the top number one company in the world, which gives platform as a service. Understand all of you? So if you take Java, .NET, or Python, or any other technology, if you want to develop any application, okay, it takes minimum two to three years time. But the same kind of application, if you want to develop it on, if you want to develop on force.com platform, okay, we can develop what? We can develop what very quickly. That is why it can be called as RAD. RAD stands for Rapid Application Development. Rapid Application Development. Okay, guys. So yesterday I told you enterprise application is the combination of three different applications: business application, CRM application, and integration application. Okay. So business application handles the business activities. CRM application customer relationship handles the or deals with the customer integration application communication between the heterogeneous applications so these are the things we discussed in the last class okay guys next La, what is the last and final one SaaS or application service SaaS stands for software as a service or application as a service here vendor company provides application directly as a service to the vendor companies sorry to the clients and development companies then that kind of service you can call it as what software as a service or application as a service here google company is the top number one company in the world which gives application service in the market gmail application developed by google company 99 percent of people having what the gmail application right nowadays that is why Google company is the top number one company, company in the world, which gives what? Which gives? I will provide the management contact number. Don't keep on asking me, okay, guys? Just listen the class carefully, first of all. See, guys. So these are the three types of services given by. There are three types of services given by cloud computing understand all of you total how many three types of services good next let us start today's class guys let us start today's class what is today's date these are the topics as of now we discussed yesterday let's start today's class what is today's date 29th Today is the third day. Day three. Okay. Fine. Listen carefully. Salesforce is the top number one company in the market. Are Shafi, listen the class, man. First of all, I will provide the contact number. Whatever classes he missed, they will provide the recordings. Don't bother about that. Okay, no problem. Or otherwise, I will take the backup session for all of you. First, listen what I am speaking. Observe how I am telling the, how I am explaining the class. Salesforce is the top number one company in the world.
Salesforce is the top number one company in the world. Salesforce is the top number one company in the world, which gives, don't chat with me, listen the class, which gives platform as a service, as, understand all of you. Now, what is my question is, who given this number one rank for Salesforce company in the area of us? Is everyone understand my question clearly? Yesterday I said that Salesforce company is the top number one company in the world, which gives what? Platform as a service. The platform name is called force.com. I hope all of you remember. That is the old name. What is the new name? Lightning platform. That everybody understand yesterday. But who given number one rank for Salesforce company in the area of platform as a service? Is Salesforce company given? RAD means rapid application development. It is not the company name. Who given this number one rank for Salesforce company in the area of pass? Is Salesforce company himself or themselves told that I am the number one in the market? No. Understand all of you. Who given the number one rank for Salesforce company? Okay, good. Listen the class carefully. Good, good, Sujit. There is a company, there is a company in US. Stop starting all of you, listen the class. There is a company in USA that is Gartner and Co. It's a research company, guys, it's an R&D company. Understand all of you. It's an R&D company, research and development, a research and analysis company. Hear all of you. There is a company called Gartner and Co. This company given the number one rank for Salesforce company. I'll show you on the screen. Look at the screen, everyone here. Gartner. See guys, Gartner Magic Quadrant. Gartner IT Service Management Company. Look at this. Everybody, please look at the screen. Gartner Incorporation, officially known as Gartner, is a global research and advisory firm providing information, advice, and tools for leaders in IT, finance, HR, customer service and support, communications, legal and compliance, marketing, sales and supply chain functions, etc., etc. This is the company, guys. This company revenue is 425 crores. US dollars. Understand all of you. Gartner company given the number one rank for Salesforce company. Understand all of you. Generally, what they are doing is see, guys, listen to the class carefully. Vendor companies, vendor company developed what? Software products. Or no? Software products. Like what? Operating systems, PL. PL stands for programming languages, databases. These are all comes under software products. These are the software products are developed by vendor companies. Suppose take the example for your better understanding. I hope all of you know about Oracle company. Oracle company developed one of the database product. Okay. One of, the, one of the database product developed by Oracle company. And this product is going to release into the market. Release into the market. Before in, they release into the market, this product. Before they release the market into the product. Okay. One of the copy, one of the copy of this product. Even to Partner and company. 
rational of you. So Gardner and Company, this company is going to analyze this product. Analyze this product. And they will tell if you are using this product, you will get this kind of benefits. This kind of advantages you will get. And also this kind of limitations having this product. Like that, Gartner and Company completely scrutinize this product, guys. And they will publish in the newspaper. And this product is going to release in the market. If you are using this product, you will get this kind of advantages. If you are using this product, you will get this kind of problems. Like that, everything they will analyze. Understand all of you? Clear this point? So Gartner and Company, given number one rank for Salesforce company in the area of what pass? See guys, I will show you an example here. Gartner's Magic Quadrant. Gartner's Magic Quadrant. What is this? Gartner's Magic Quadrant. Look at this, everybody. Gartner's Magic Quadrant. In your 10th class, uh, we have something like trigonometry. Do you remember? In mathematics, in our 10th class, trigonometry concept is there. Yes or no? Sin theta, cos theta, tan theta. Do you remember all of you? Yeah. In trigonometry, we have all silver teacups. Do you remember? All silver teacups. Okay. We have four quadrants. Like that here also, we have four quadrants, guys. Look at this magic quadrant. It is look like this only. I will show you on the screen. 2020 magic quadrant. 2020 magic quadrant. See here. Here there is four quadrants, guys. Observe carefully. The first quadrant leaders. This is the first quadrant leaders. The second quadrant uh, qualifiers. Okay. The third quadrant. Uh, what is this? Let me increase the zoom out. I it is not uh, Nishi players. This is Nishi players. This is uh, this is challengers. Sorry. This is leaders. This is challengers. This is Nishi players. And what is the last one here? Not clear, that much clear. Visioners, okay, visioners, okay. In the total, how many quadrants we have? Four quadrants. Leaders, challengers, Nishi players, and visioners. In the leaders, look at this. In the leaders, okay, we have Oracle, SAP, okay, Teradata, SAS, Informatica. There are some companies are like this. Clear all of you. Each dot represents what? Each dot represents company name. In the leader's quadrant, in the leader's quadrant, listen carefully. In the leader's quadrant, the top dot is Salesforce. The top dot is what? Salesforce here. Understand all of you. Not here. Not here. We cannot see here now. The top dot name is called what? Salesforce company. So Gartner given the number one rank for Salesforce company. Understand all of you? Good. Now my question is, why Gartner? Why Gartner given number one rank for Salesforce company? That is the question here. Why Gartner given number one rank for Salesforce company? What are the specialities of Salesforce? What are, what are the significance of Salesforce? This is the point I'm going to discuss. There are three reasons. Listen the class carefully. This information you cannot get anywhere in the market. Listen the class, all of you. There are three reasons why Salesforce SF he is a number one in the market. What is the first reason? Reason number one, 
Salesforce internally supports ten different technologies. Salesforce centrally supports how many technologies? Ten different technologies. This is the first reason why Salesforce is number one in the market. Is everyone understand what I am speaking here, guys? Salesforce is the number one in the market because of first reason is what? Salesforce internally supports how many technologies? Ten different technologies. The first technology. Listen the class carefully. The first technology. It supports programming language. The second technology, it supports database. The third technology, it supports ETL. The fourth technology, it supports big data. Fifth technology, it supports uh, business intelligence. I will tell you, ETL stands for Traction, Transformation, and Loading. DA stands for Business Intelligence. Understand? Or I heard the name called Informatica. Anyone of you? Informatica is the best example for ETL tool. Okay. Next, A, B, C, D, E. Next, it supports cloud computing. It supports cloud computing. It supports mobile programming. It supports mobile programming. Understand everyone here. Okay. It supports mobile programming. How many completed? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Supports eight one. It supports uh, IoT. IoT means Internet of Things. It support AI. AI stands for Artificial Intelligence. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It support user experience. UX stands for user experience. Understand all of you? User experience. Okay, guys. That is classic. The other one is what? Lightning. So these are the 10 different technologies supported by Salesforce. Listen to the class very carefully. Today's topic is very important. Stop chatting, all of you. Okay. At the end of the session, you can ask the questions. Clear everybody? Good. Now here, Salesforce internally supports how many technologies? 10 different technologies. What is the first technology? Programming language. The programming language which is given by Salesforce, the official language, is a proprietary language of Salesforce company that is called what? Apex. Apex is the programming language which is given by Salesforce. So this is the language what we are going to learn in your syllabus. Understand all of you? For example, has anybody heard the name called SAP? SAP. What is SAP stands for? SAP is a vendor company. SAP is a vendor company like Microsoft, IBM, Salesforce. Understand? What does SAP stands for? Systems 
applications and products in data processing. This is the complete abbreviation of what SAP. SAP company proprietary language called ABAP. Do you know ABAP stands for Advanced Business Application Programming? Just like that, SAP company, just like that, SAP company proprietary language name is called ABAP. In the same way, Salesforce company proprietary language name is called Apex. So there is no full form. There is no full abbreviation for what Apex. Understand all of you? So Apex is the programming language which is given by Salesforce. Next, database. So what is the database they're using? Salesforce Oracle database they're using. Backend they're using what Oracle database. Clear all of you. Next, ETL. ETL stands for Extraction Transformation Loading. Regarding this, we will discuss at the name of admin topic. Don't ask any questions at this particular point of time. At the time of administration, we will discuss about DTL tool. Okay, big data is also comes under administration. Business intelligence is also covered in administration. Understand all of you. Next, it supports for the cloud computing. Okay, mobile programming. Mobile programming means, see guys, Android operating system and iOS operating system. I hope all of you know. Yes or no? Using iOS and Android, we can develop the business of mobile applications. In the same way, in Salesforce also, we can develop the mobile applications. In, in the same way, in Salesforce also, we can develop the mobile applications. Clear all of you? Next one. Next one. What is the next one here? IoT. IoT means Internet of Things. Has anybody heard the name called Internet of Things? What is the meaning of Internet of Things? Tell me. Any one of you. What is the meaning of Internet of Things? Are there nobody responding? You can type uh, Internet of Things means. Ah, Internet of Things Hello, means. Good yeah, good morning. Hello. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Uh, Internet of Things means like uh, where can we use uh, the census data in the smart cities, smart buildings, smart hospitalities? Smart buildings, smart hospitalities means what? No, I could not. We can access and monitoring through the, the internet. internet means connecting all the things with internet. The combination of the physical objects and the embedded systems, like. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. It is similar like Alexa, which we use. Hello. Okay, without AC remote also, I can switch on AC machine by using my mobile. Yes or no? So that is why Internet of Things means what? Machine to machine communication. What is this? So, machine to machine communication can be called as Internet of Things. Next, artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence means what? Okay, understand by machine. Human language. Sorry, Alexa is the best example for this. Sorry. Clear all of you. Okay, that is called what? Artificial intelligence. It can understand the human language. Clear all of you. Machine can understand human language. Next, user experience. This is very important, guys. Classic and lightning. Here I note I need to write some point here. Listen carefully. Yeah. Okay, what is that? We can develop the Salesforce application. We can develop the Salesforce application. Uh, I can say in two modes. The first mode name is called classic mode. 
the second mode name is called what lightning mode in your in your syllabus both we are going to discuss both will cover okay classic mode is the old style of developing the application whereas lightning mode is a new style of developing the Understand the point here. Old style of developing the application and new style of developing the application. Clear, everyone? So both we'll discuss. Classic mode and as well as what? Lightning mode. Okay, now. So total how many technologies supported by Salesforce here? 10 different technologies. Programming language, database, and ETL, big data, business intelligence, cloud computing, Mobile programming, Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, and user experience. Next, second important point. Second reason, how many reasons are there? Three reasons. The first reason is what? Salesforce centrally supports 10 different technologies. The second reason why Salesforce is number one in the market. Okay. Yesterday we discussed about something like what? Enterprise application. Yes or no? Enterprise applications is a combination of how many applications? Three applications. Business application, CRM application, plus integration application. Combination of all these three applications, you can call it as what? Enterprise application. And channel of you. Combination of all these three applications can be called as enterprise application. Hey guys, this point is very important. Listen the class carefully and try to understand. Take the example of Java. Before that, I have a company called ABC Company. For this ABC Company, they need some enterprise application. And this company given the project to a company called TCS. So what is TCS here? It's a development company. So this development company need to develop what? Enterprise application as per the ABC company requirement. So TCS point of view, what is ABC here? ABC is a client. So the relation between the TCS company and ABC company is, TCS company need to develop the enterprise application as per the client requirement using using what technology using java technology let us assume like this all of you understand guys let us assume like this okay uh i don't know your names guys suppose uh, rohit kana is there here one other person rohit rohit is there rohit kana and one more person is swaraj pradhan and another guy, let me see you also. Okay, fine. There are three persons I taken in your batch. See you also. And uh, Rohit Kanna and Swaraj. There are three persons here, guys. Tell me, actually, listen carefully. Rohit is expert in what? Java. He is a Java developer. That is why TCS hire Rohit for developing what? Business application. We understand the point clearly. Business application they need to develop and also they need to develop what? CRM application and also they need to develop what? Integration application. Understand everyone here? Ah, okay, so let us assume Swaraj, Swaraj, Swaraj no problem. What is in that? Rohit Kanna, you are the Java developer. Okay. And TCS hiring Rohit to develop what? Business application. Okay, guys. So Rohit is a person can develop what? Rohit is a person can develop what? Only business application. But Rohit don't know how to develop CRM application. And Rohit don't know how to develop integration application. Understand all of you? Because Rohit knows how to develop only business application. So at this particular point of time, TCS need to hire. At this particular point of time, TCS need to hire 
another category of experts who can develop what crm application or not so in this particular example swaraj knows how to develop crm application let us assume swaraj knows let us assume swaraj knows uh, civil crm or you heard the name called civil crm any one of you swaraj knows about civil crm he can expect to develop what crm application so tcs developed so tcs hiring what swaraj to develop what to develop what crm application any of you but swaraj don't know how to develop integration application that is why tcs need to hire how many uh, need to hire the category of experts who can develop what integration application suppose srivastav know about what how to develop integration application in a about web services all of you understand like uh, rest bulk and soap are you heard the name calls rest bulk and soap so srivastav srivastav knows about what web service so he can develop what integration application in this particular example please tell me all of you if tcs wants to develop enterprise application for this company tcs need to hire how many category of experts three category yes tcs need to hire three category of experts yes sir no yes that is the people who know about developer developing the business application business application developers Yes or no? And CRM developers. The point is very crucial, guys. And integration application developers. Understand all of you? So TCS need to hire how many category of experts here? Three category of experts: business application developers, CRM developers, integration application developers. Understand? Tell me, is TCS need to pay the salaries for all these employees or not? till end of the project yes. yes or no good yes but who will pay the salaries tcs not tcs is yes. not going to pay the salaries who will pay the salaries client, client need to pay the salaries clients need to pay the salaries for all these people from the day one to till end of the project because everything comes from the client's pocket only that is why client need to pay the salaries for all the category of experts that too This application need about two to three years time to complete, minimum, or three to four years time. So in all these four years, client need to pay the salaries for all these employees or not? Then automatically what will happen? Project maintenance cost will increase. For whom? For? Am I correct or not? Yes. This is the major problem in case of what other technologies like Java, .NET, and all. Read all of you. So to avoid this problem, if you take Salesforce, let us take a small example. If you take a Salesforce, okay. So Onforce.com platform. This point is very important. Onforce.com platform. If you want to develop the enterprise application, if you want to develop the enterprise application. Stop, start, stop chatting, all of you. On force.com platform, if you want to develop the enterprise application, suppose TCS need to recruit, or TCS recruited Rohit. Rohit know about what? Salesforce, complete Salesforce, in and out. So, Rohit is the person can develop what? Business application, and Rohit is the person can develop what? ERM application sure. and Rohit is a person can develop what integration application. Integration. The whole enterprise application you can develop on Post.com platform. So in this case, TCS need to recruit how many category of experts? TCS need to hire how many category of experts in case of Salesforce. One, only one, only one. Yes or no? 
to go for other yes. technologies? No. Only one. In case, in case of other technologies, three categories of experts they need to they need to recruit. Tell me, giving the salaries for three people is easy, is better, or giving the salary only one employee is better? One. Okay. Then automatically client, client maintenance cost, project maintenance cost is reduced or not? Reduced. Yes. And also, we can develop the project, the entire application, within a very short span of time. Within eight to ten months of time, we can complete the We can complete the entire project. All of understand? Yes or no? Yes. Because in Salesforce, in Salesforce, we are going to learn about what? How to develop the business application, how to develop the CRM application, and how to develop the integration application. Listen carefully and try to understand this point. In your syllabus, in your syllabus, syllabus, I will cover six major modules. Listen carefully. The first module is configuration. Second module is development. Third module is Administration. Fourth module is integration. Fifth module is here. Fifth module is lightning. Very huge subject, guys. Very huge subject. Understand everyone here? I'm, listen carefully and try to understand, guys. Listen carefully. Whatever content I'm delivering next to two, two and a half months, I can challenge in the market. Nobody can give you. That much of huge information I'm sharing with you guys. Understand? I can challenge, nobody can give you. Six modules I'm going to cover. This is enough to crack the, crack the entry. This knowledge is enough to break the entry, guys. Clear? Just blindly follow me. So here, CRM is also covered. Understand? Integration is also covered. And also business application also covered in development. Everything is covered. So obviously, Rohit is the one person who can download the entire, uh, entire uh, enterprise application or not. Yes or no? Then automatically, client point of view, project maintenance cost is reduced. That is why most of the companies are using what? Salesforce only. Understand the point clearly? Most of the companies are using what? Salesforce. That is why on force.com platform, you can listen to the class carefully. On force.com platform, we can download the complete enterprise application. Is this clear, everyone? Chandana, Nikhil, Swaraj, Harsha, Rohit, everyone in the class. Shilpa, good, good. Yes, sir. Shreddy, good. Harshavardhan, good, good, good. Thank you. Okay. Next, third important point is, third important, third reason. How many reasons we discussed? Three reasons. First reason, Salesforce internally supports 10 different technologies. Second reason, what is the second reason? We can develop the complete enterprise application on force.com platform. And the third reason is Salesforce completely. Prakash Uday Kumar. My name is also Prakash Uday. Good, thank you. Salesforce completely. Thanks for coding. Understand that is why the people who are not in experting coding part, okay, don't bother, guys. The people who don't know who don't know about coding in Salesforce coding part is very less. In Salesforce coding part is very less. Okay, 
sales force against for what coding that is why without coding no code means without code without code okay max to max we have to develop the application without coding develop the application in case if not then we have to go for low code concept low code means what minimal code uh, Apex is a part of syllabus that we cover in development. Apex is a part of syllabus that is covered in the development. Low code. Okay. With minimal code, with minimal programming, we can develop the application. Even though that is not possible, then only we have to go for. Apex is very easy. Sheikh Kadar, Hussein. Apex is very easy. Don't bother about the programming, guys. My huna, everything I will be taking care of. From scratch, I will tell you. Yesterday, I told you, I will make you everyone in the classroom masters in programming. Understand Hussein Basha? Don't bother about the programming. Next, pro code. Pro code means what? With code, we need to develop the application. Understand all of you. So that is why sales was first priority is what? No code. Without code, we need to develop the application. If not, low code. Low code means what? With minimal code, we have to develop the application. If that is also not possible, we have to write the program code. So with code, we need to develop the application. But first priority have to go for what? No code only. This is the third reason why Salesforce is number one in the market in the area of what? Pass. Listen carefully, Hussein Basha, especially you. Listen carefully, all of you. 40% of application we can develop through GUI. What is GUI? Graphical User Interface. Understand the point here. 40% of application you can download through what GUI. You no need to write any coding. Just drag and drop, drop and point and click. That's it. No coding path. 60% of application we can develop only through coding. For this coding, we need to use a language called FX. But if you take Java or .NET or Python, you're taking a technology, 95% completely coding part. Which is better, guys? Which is better? Which technology is better? Java better, .NET better, Python is better, Java is, uh, Salesforce is better. Salesforce, Salesforce is better. 60% coding, 40% reduced almost. That is why we can develop the application very quickly. Once coding part is reduced, then automatically you can develop the application very quickly. Understand everyone? That's it. So why Salesforce is number one in the market? How many reasons we discussed as of now? Three reasons. What is the first reason? What is the first reason? Salesforce centrally supports how many technologies? Salesforce centrally supports how many technologies? Ten. Ten technologies. Ten technologies. Ten, what are those? What are those? Programming language, database. Yeah, programming Which language. 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 Which Apex. language? Apex. Okay. Next one. Database, that is Oracle. ETL, that is Informatica. Big data. Business intelligence, cloud computing, mobile programming, okay. IoT, okay. AI, and you. And second is enterprise application. Okay. What is consist Which consists of business application, CRM, and integration application. Very good. Enterprise application that is for developing the code that is Java, CRM, and integration that is 
the code which you develop it should be integrated okay okay that's Next one. and the, and the last one is it's uh, salesforce is completely against the coding part wow. where the usage of, where the usage of coding is very low very good excellent uh, graphical user interface where we use 40 percent of code and at uh, apex we use 60 percent of code if you are good. using java and if you are using java and python we have to use 95 percent of code yes excellent shafi very good very good so which is better salesforce is better yes or no yes sir definitely salesforce is better very good so swaraj swaraj pradhan irrespective of your background whether you use mechanical background or civil background no problem yesterday told you everybody please you can come into the salesforce guys no problem don't bother understand swaraj pradhan don't worry please completely believe me Listen the class, class carefully. Practice regularly. Do hard work. I will show the job. Understand? So that's about the today's session. I hope you understand today's session, guys. If anybody have any guys any doubts regarding today's class, you can ask the questions. Sir, once you scroll down, sir. Once you uh -huh. scroll down, sir. Yeah. Ah, I scroll down. Any doubt? Thank you, sir. I share, yeah, I will share this document, guys. I will share this document. Don't bother. Once registrations are completed, I will share the document. Okay, fine. Thank you, guys. Okay, I'll catch you tomorrow, same time at 7 o'clock. Sir, is there any Java classes, sir? Still? Sorry, is there any Java classes which is going on like this? Java classes, yes, sir. Code Java, why? Code Java is not required by this, uh, no, sir. Apart from this, I am quite interested in Java, sir. You are not interested in Salesforce or what? I am interested, sir. I, li I like learning, sir. Both Java and not Salesforce only, both. Both you want to learn. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. I'll share the number. Everybody, please look at the screen. Okay, 8 sir. 5388. 8 Everybody, please look at the screen and copy the number. This is onlineitvidya.com management number. <laughs> Okay, you can directly talk with her. Okay, they will guide you. Okay, okay, thank you, sir. Java classes regarding recordings, whatever you want. Okay, fine. Sir, I previously I missed. Sorry. Sir, previously I missed two ses two sessions, sir. How uh -huh. could I was? They will, yes, they will provide the recordings. They will provide the recordings. Okay, thank you, sir. It's so interesting, sir. Salesforce classes. Thank you, thank you very much, Shafi. Thank you. Okay, please copy this number. Everyone copy? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, Thank sir. You. In 15 Thank days, you. you can cover the whole. Sorry? Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. Tomorrow, same time. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. Thank you, sir.